Let's talk about the Medusa. Um, God, these things are terrifying, annoying, um, and beefy as hell. They're lined with point defense cannons. Medusa does not have the aggressive profile of other Cylon command ships, its strength lines, and its highly advanced transmission arrays, which can boost and or clock subsystems of other friendly units, pushing the capacities of Cylon technology to its very limits. Point defense cannons, eh? Okay, I have an idea. Um, because there are there appears to me anyway to be two ships in the uh, colonial ar arsenal that are equal to the Medusa, and that is what? there we go, and that is the Heracles. And the Valkyrie. Now the Valkyrie seems to be like an overpriced um, frigate, and it probably kind of sort of is. I'll look into that eventually. Um, honestly, I'm gonna I'm saving the best for last. We're gonna go through the toaster ships first because fuck the toasters. Colonial ships are better. Um, so let's. Let's see how this works. Point defense weapons. That means they might be able to shoot down incoming munitions, which was my concern about putting the Medusa against um, a similarly pointed uh, Valkyrie. Because, you know, it's not that nukes are unfair. Nukes are kind of unfair. And when we're getting away from, like, base stars and uh, battle stars or, you know, things with flak, and things with, you know, fighter support, nukes and any munitions are suddenly really, really terrifying. So let's see what this is. R to Pam. No targets in range. System processes. Uh, arm. Well, there's no sense of having armory, and they have no fighter bay. So. I can do lots of things. Um, I'm not too worried about navigate. If I gotta be honest, I don't think this thing is gonna be doing too much navigating. Zero, and that will put everything just about max strength. Um, I don't need engineering at the moment. Distribution complete. And I'm gonna want these guys to be like. Dead slow. Because the idea being... Um, the idea being that they're going to let the bad guys, well, the good guys, come to them. So... Uh, so it's Dreadus range at max is around 90. That might be the longest Dreadus range we've seen so far. Uh, it's turrets. Well, unfortunately, uh, forward facing turrets only. Ah, oh, God, these things need an escort. But that is alright. That's fine. That's totally fine. We'll just have them linger back here. I'm not sure what this R to Pam is. I thought that was the thing that kind of allowed them to like, um, like connect. You kind of see the Medusa's firing like these blue beams out towards Cylon ships, and that lets them overclock the subsystems even more, which is terrifying and awesome. This is strap support. This thing should not be on its own. Uh, kind of like the modern, uh, the modern base star. These things are probably going to suffer on their own. But they do have forward firepower, so hopefully they have enough forward firepower to, you know, not die. Hostile unit identified. 
Alright, let's see what these nukes could do. By your command. Nuclear launch sequence activated. That's actually a pretty impressive amount of forward firepower that they've got going there. Um, yeah, I don't need... Um, mah, I don't need... I don't need a tech bay anymore. I do want engineering because now we're starting to get into um, slugging distance. So let's, uh, let's try to reduce the damage to ourselves and see what these nukes are going to do to these guys. The Valkyrie has flak. I'm not sure why it's not using it. The Valkyrie's fucked. Uh, and the Heracles is fucked. Jesus Christ. We'll review the replay. That was a short one. These things seem to be more on the um, range of the Heracles. I think the Heracles has a lot of forward firepower as well. So, these things were kind of... They're meant to be surrounded by Cylon ships, which they are supporting. But they appear to be, in terms of a, a ship, they appear to be kind of the tip of the sword. I didn't even, like, adequately look at their armor. Oh, Jesus. I've got to go look at their armor after this. But they are certainly able to defend themselves. Yeah, like, that's the thing. That's what made the modern uh, base star suck so much. It couldn't shoot. Like, I love the Valkyrie. I think the Valkyrie is an awesome addition. Um, I have to do a comparison of the Valkyrie versus, um, versus the uh, Adamant. But, yeah. Okay, proceed. We're going to go back to the beginning because I'm going to... Basically, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Medusa, yes. And Heracles, cool. I, I do not care. Because we're not going to play through this one completely, but I do want to look at its armor. It seems to be the tip of the sword. It's, it's support, but it supports from the front. Here we go. Holy shit! It's got even, like, I mean, yeah, the modern base star is better top and beneath armor, but 75 might be the strongest you see from the front, uh, left, right, and rear that you see in Cylons. That's nothing to, uh, whew. That's, uh, that's some pretty decent armor. Decent hull as well. This is a fairly good ship. Like, good, a good mid-range support vessel. Dear God, thank God we don't see them more often in the campaign. 